Thank you for joining me. I'm Tracy Smith, the creator of the Business Survival with Analytics series. This series is designed to help businesses understand how to use data to improve the bottom line. You can view these videos in any order you wish, so feel free to start with the one that addresses your most urgent business problem. In this video, I'll explain the difference between measures, metrics, and KPIs. I'll provide advice on how to select metrics and KPIs for your business so you can avoid popular mistakes. I'll also discuss whether KPIs are specific to your industry. Many people mistakenly use the terms measure, metric, and KPI interchangeably. In reality, they are very different. Metrics lead to KPIs, and KPIs are aligned to business goals. I'll explain this in more detail in a moment, but first, Let's start with the most basic of the terms explained in this video, which is the word measure. A measure is a unit-specific term as a definition that can be hard to understand, so I'll give you a few examples. Suppose you are a company that produces and sells two kinds of beer, light beer and dark beer. You walk into your warehouse and note that you have 105 cases of light beer and 321 cases of dark beer sitting on the shelves. 105 and 321 are measures of your product inventory and the unit of measure is cases. Over in your production area where you brew and bottle your beer, an example of a measure would be the number of liters or gallons of beer that you have produced. A metric, on the other hand, is a quantifiable measurement that is used to track and assess the performance of a specific process. Generally, this is a rate of some sort. Here are a few examples from the same beer company. Perhaps the company sells 10 cases per month of light beer and 15 cases per month of dark beer. Cases per month is a metric constructed from our measure of cases. Returning to the production area where we previously measured the number of liters or gallons of beer produced, a metric for this area would be the number of liters per week or gallons per week that have been produced on the manufacturing floor. Now what is a KPI? KPI stands for Key Performance Indicator. With the word key included in the name, we get a hint that perhaps a KPI has a special level of importance to it. A KPI is a metric that measures something significant, like how well a business is achieving its business goals. KPIs can be defined at the overall company level, within departments and teams, or at the individual task level. Larger companies may have hundreds of metrics, but the key performance indicators are the small subset of metrics that measure how well a company or business unit is meeting its strategic goals. The right key performance indicators for a business are the ones aligned to the objectives of a strategic plan. KPIs can and should change as the focus of the company changes over time. A company's strategic business plan has objectives and each objective has desired results. KPIs are the metrics that will define what it means for each objective or desired result to be successful. For example, perhaps our beer company has been experiencing excessive downtime in its production machinery. Additionally, suppose they have recorded an increasing number of safety incidents in the last year. This company is likely to focus several of its KPIs on measuring downtime and safety incidents so they can track the success of initiatives designed to reduce these undesirable events and to track their impact on production volumes. For example, as they reduce the amount of downtime, they would want to monitor a KPI like liters per week, gallons per week, or bottles per week to ensure that production rates are increasing as downtime decreases. Let's bring another beer producing company into our example and call them beer company number two. Suppose beer company number two is not experiencing excessive downtime or increased safety incidents like our first beer company. This second company may have a focus on eliminating waste in production. Waste in production is defined to be things like producing scrap, which is unusable product or material, overproducing inventory, and having unnecessary steps in the production line. This beer company would align its KPIs to measuring the reduction of this waste and improvements in efficiencies. 
Now, what happens at the department level inside these beer companies? Each department or team contributes to the strategic plan objectives in some way. The metrics of each department or team should therefore be aligned to their contribution to the key objectives. For example, since beer company number two would like to reduce waste, and one of these wastes is excess inventory production, several departments or teams may be involved in an initiative to improve the forecast of how many bottles per week of each product are needed. Additionally, the supply chain professional may have metrics associated with inventory turns and on-time supplier delivery in order to support the forecasted levels of production and sales. When product demand is increasing, both supply chain and manufacturing need to be aligned in their metrics to support an overall KPI target for the bottles per week produced. Monitoring the change in these metrics and the overall business KPIs will inform the actions that need to be taken to ensure that progress on the objectives continues to be made. Measures, metrics, and KPIs for a business are best presented in up-to-date, dynamic, and customized dashboards in order to provide continuous visibility into the progress being made. I recently received a question asking whether KPIs and metrics are identical for companies within the same industry. Should beer company number one and beer company number two measure the exact same things inside their businesses? While some measurements may be similar, such as inventory turns and increasing sales rates, the KPIs selected will depend on the strategic direction of the company. If beer company number one operates in Canada and their strategy is to add a distributor in the US this year, but beer company number two plans to focus on product profitability optimization and supply base reduction, their lists of what to measure should not be identical. What this also tells you is that KPIs and metrics that you measure can and should change over time. As the key business objectives are completed or changed to reflect market or business conditions, you may need to update the list of measurements being used. I hope this video has cleared up some of the confusion that exists between measures, metrics, and KPIs. I'll leave a link in the description to a short ebook that is available called The Strategy of Metrics and Key Performance Indicators. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to press like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive a message when new videos are released. You can also explore the other videos in this series or visit our website for more information on how to use data analysis to improve your business.